I spent thousand dollars on a meta Yu-Gi-Oh deck. Ugh. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a new deck that I've put together and it's pretty expensive. <laughs> but before that we have a giveaway, I'll be giving away this Berserk Dragon, Levia Dragon Daedalus, and I forgot the other card, the Blue Eyes White Dragon from SDK, it's a little beat up, nostalgic condition. All you have to do to enter that giveaway is like this video, be subscribed, let me know what you think about the deck, what do you think about investing in high rarity cards? Okay, we have done a couple of episodes of this series so far, we've bought a Blue Eyes deck, a Dark Magician deck, and now we have a new deck that is probably the most competitive deck that I've had yet. It's not based on a nostalgic old school monster, so it's probably a little better. It is, however, based on one of the most iconic monsters in dueling slash Yu-Gi-Oh history. It is Alistair the Invoker. And yes, if you guys play a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh, you have seen this played many times. It's been around for several years since it was first released. It is somewhat controversial. Some people like it and some people don't, but it's actually still really good several years after it came out. I think it came out in 2017. So first off, we have three Alistair the Invoker. This is not just an Invoke deck. It also has some other things. So I'll show you guys what it has. We also have two Ultimate Rare Invocation which is very, very cool. You'd love to see those. That's part of the expensive part. You guys saw these in the collection I bought. I actually got these out of there and just saved them for the deck. And of course, if you're playing Alistair, you have to have Magical Meltdown. This card can search out the Alistair. Once you summon Alistair, you get to add the invocation. So you have one of these, you have all three cards, basically, if it does not get negated or stopped, interrupted in any way. Three secret rares of that. So you have the entire eight card package for Alistair in the main deck. Then I also have a Terraforming Ultimate Rare. This is from OTS5. And by the way, I buy all these high rarity cards or I get them from collections or whatever because I like the fact that they kind of hold their value pretty well. If you guys think, wow, why would you play this in your deck? That's probably a good idea. You know, you probably should not play these high rarity cards in your deck, but they do hold nice value. So it's cool. You can like flex on your opponent if you guys enjoy doing that. The smarter thing is probably just to play the common because there's a common terraforming. <laughs> so if you did have this, you could just search for Magical Meltdown, which you could then search for Alistair, which you could then search for Invoke. So you basically have all those cards. The next package in the deck is, you guys probably guessed it. If these look familiar, these are all for the Destroy Phoenix Enforcer. So this deck plays both Alistair and Destroy Phoenix Enforcer. So you can get Mechaba out there and Destroy Phoenix Enforcer in the same turn. It's pretty good. So you have three of the Fusion Destiny, which we tried to pull the other day. The live stream exploded, but hopefully we will get to open the rest of those packs later. Then we have the two monsters that you send with Fusion Destiny, the Dasher and the Celestial. They both have an effect in the graveyard, which makes them better than Dark Magician and uh, Dark Magician Girl or Red Eyes or whatever you're using for your Dragoon. We will get to the extra deck in a minute, but now we have some hand traps. So we have three Ultimate Rare Effect Veilers. So these are from Duelist Revolution. These are first edition French print, I believe. Ultimate rare. So those look really cool. Technically, if you were in a tournament, you would need like a translation or something. Obviously, everyone knows what effect Veil does. If you don't, you have to activate it during your opponent's main phase and you can stop one of their card's effects from working. So it's pretty good. Then we have more hand trap. This deck plays a ton of them because it's so easy. Just you get a one card starter for invoked or a one card starter like Fusion Destiny for DPE. So it's very strong. We have three Ash Blossom. You guys remember we pulled these in a video. It's pretty fun. It was a live stream, actually. It was insane. Then we also play a couple of Go Spell, which are very nice card. First edition uh, from Flames of Destruction. We play the Driver package where we have a side frame Driver and three side frame Gear Gamma. This one is from Toon Chaos. So we have a four card package there where basically you activate the Gamma, you negate an effect, you special summon the Driver, you also special summon the Gamma. And that's not all. We have another mini engine. We have the Sky Strikers. We have Widow Anchor, Engage, and Hornet Drones all in here, as well as a couple of links in the extra deck for Sky Strikers. So it's even more random thing. That's what I like about this deck. It's kind of like my Dark Magician deck where there was tons of different things you could play with. And here it's the same way. We also have the very common package to use with DPE. We have the Artifact Scythe, the Artifact Lancia, and three Artifact Sanctum. You can bring the these two cards out with Sanctum, and then you can pop them with DPE and make, get the effects over and over and over. It's very annoying. It's very strong, I would say. So that's why we're running it. Then the last six cards in the main deck, we have three Solemn Strike. These are the ulti we got from the collection, which are very, very nice. We got the Infinite and Permanent Secret Rares, and that is the last six of the main deck. But that's not all. If you guys know modern Yu-Gi-Oh, you got to have that extra deck. So here is our extra deck. We've got a couple of Mecha Bus. We're on the gold version, unfortunately. I would like to have a better version. We have the gold version. A couple of those. Obviously, you want to get into this card with your Alistair. It takes a light and Alistair, and you can summon this guy. He is an Omni Negate, which means he can negate monster, spell, and trap effects, which is very, very good. So I have two of these in here right now. I do still need to get the wind one, and I will replace something with that. I don't have it right now, but I think two Mecha Bus is just too good to not play. I'll maybe replace something else. So we have the Mecha 
Mechabo, which is very good. We got the Purgatrio. This is the fire version. Not nearly as good as the Mechabo, but it can be pretty big. Sometimes you need to like banish their fire from the graveyard or you don't have a Mechabo left, something like that. We got the Aguides. I don't know how to say this, but this is just any fusion monster, which could be DPE. This could be another invoked. And then uh, Alistair, and you can make that guy. Then we have one Destroy Phoenix Enforcer. This card is just insane. It's taken over. You either love or you hate this card. A lot of people say that it's better than Dragoon, and I think when I've played with both of them, I think this is better just because you can do everything else while using it instead of having to wait. You know, if you activate Red Ice Fusion, they, you know, Ash or something like that, and you're just sitting there like, all right, I end my turn. <laughs> After that, we have the Sky Strikers, Kagari. We have the Kana. So those are both two Link 1 options we can use with our Sky Striker package. We got the All Mirage. There's also supposed to be one other Link 1 here. There's also supposed to be one other Link 1, which is the Secure Guard. It gives you a fire and a light right away. All you have to do is summon Alistair. You make the All Mirage. Then you make the Secure Guard. Then you have a light and a fire in the graveyard right away. You can just activate your invocation you just added to your hand. You can make either Mechaba or Purgatrio. It's very cool. That's what the All Mirage is for. Then we have the Verte Anaconda. Obviously, you guys know what this does. This is to get into D. DPE. We have the cross sheep artifact dag does just you know broken at this point with dp etc and it can get all your artifacts out there the nightmare unicorn is a link three we've got a selene because there's a few options like uh alistair is a spellcaster so pretty good and then we have finally have a secret rare access code talker yeah we finally got one from that collection that's it for the main and the extra deck if we were to play an event which i will be at pasadena if any of you guys would be there assuming it doesn't get canceled but it might get canceled at this rate who knows i'm not playing so i won't be playing this deck anyway but if i was then theoretically this would be played so we have a side just for fun. So we've got three Nibiru. Obviously, this card is just really good against a lot of different decks like Phantom Knights. Then we've got the three Droll and Lock, which are very good. The Ultimate Rare is very cool. We've got the Harpy's Feather Duster because sometimes you need to get rid of a lot of back row with this deck. So we side it in just in case they are playing a lot. We got three Cosmic Cyclones, two Ultis. I only had two of those. And then a Secret Rare. Twin Twisters is just a bunch of back row hate, two uh, Twin Twisters. And then we play three of the Evenly Matched. If they, I mean, Evenly Matched is just crazy when you are going second. I mean, it's really good. All right. Now that we have this really cool match. This is one of the original mats that I got recently. Uh, it's like top eight from like the first tournament or something like that. I don't know the exact detail, but I know it's really old. It's really cool. So we're going to use it a little bit. We're going to do a quick test hand with the deck. So you got to shuffle up the cards real quick, you know, get them all nice and shuffled. Put them over on your deck zone over here. So we draw five like we are actually going to play. So we get a, a uh, okay, this is terrible. Uh, side frame dry. <laughs> <laughs> this is about as bad as it can get. We drew, uh, yeah, we drew two Ash, which you can only do once per turn, and a Driver without being able to Gamma and get this special summon, and then a Scythe and a Sanctum. Sanctum with special summon Scythe. So, uh, yeah, let's. that's just a mulligan. <laughs> So what you are really looking for, you're looking for either Meltdown, Alistair, or of course the Terraforming that can get you into that combo. You could all, you're also looking for the Fusion Destiny. So any of that stuff is pretty good. And then some hand traps are obviously needed in the meta. So there's a Terraforming, so that would be good. There's a Meltdown as well, so we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna double up on that, unfortunately. We get all of this stuff. So it's all spells and traps, but that's really not too bad because then you could just Terraforming, you could get your second Meltdown. Because if you did actually, uh, you know, got negated or something like that, you have a second copy. So you would obviously that you would melt down if you melt down that means you get to go get meltdown we'll put it over here even though the field zone's over here meltdown means you get to go get the alistair which is right there so you do have a few options with the sand you could go with hornet drones you could bring out a sky striker link one you also of course have the alistair play and then a Fort fusion destiny is going to be you know what you want to end up doing so you could summon alistair this would allow you to search invocation once you do that you can link off this alistair you could bring out the uh salamandrate all mirage in the extra deck zone which we don't have one then you would link this off for secure Gardna to have that's enough that's a light attribute so you have a light on the field because we don't have that card yet so we're gonna have to pretend like we do then you would invocation you would send the secure Gardna you would banish the Alistair to bring out Mechaba you'd bring out your Mechaba and the extra mon well probably not in the extra monster zone actually would just put it in a regular zone uh, this would come back to your hand this of course would go back to the deck then you still have the ability to fusion destiny at the end of the turn so you after all you did that you could fusion destiny unlike with Dragoon if you did that you couldn't red eyes fusion you'd have to start with it if it got negated you just have nothing so you would send your Dasher and your Celestial, that would be your fusion card, and you would bring out the legendary Destiny Hero, Destroy Phoenix Enforcer, you might put in defense, uh, something like that. And you got Mechaba, and you got Destroy Phoenix Enforcer, that leaves you with Alistair as a hand trap, you've got the uh, Hornet Drones to back you up later, and the Widow Anchor to negate effects, so you would set that. You end up with a Mechaba that can pump to 35 with Alistair in the damage step, which is also really good, then you can negate monster effects by discarding this, or spell effects by discarding one of these. The Magical Meltdown could be a good fodder for that, because you already have that on the field, or you could push this and then use this again and get another Alistair to your hand. Also, you have the Destroy Phoenix Enforcer just to pop something every single turn. You have the Widow Anchor to negate an effect. So 
overall a pretty strong board just going for ourselves five cards turned into this which is pretty good so we don't usually do this kind of stuff but i figured i'd show you guys the deck that i've been working on it's actually much better than the dark magician the blue eyes deck and it's actually pretty fun let me know what you guys think about this deck with DPE and Invoked in the same deck. Also, let me know what you think about investing in these high rarity cards into a deck. I'm kind of enjoying it because then I can always move these staples from different decks. Like some of these I use in the Dark Magician deck, etc, etc. So you can use them in different decks and they're still holding really nice value for like the price that I paid. And sometimes they even do go up like the effect fillers that I bought in Starlight. And since you guys know I am a Yu-Gi-Oh! channel, obviously I like to have Yu-Gi-Oh! cards as part of my portfolio really it's just i like to have an excuse to buy Yu Gi Oh cards i don't know about you guys but uh, it's pretty fun so if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe for more epic content because we will be doing maybe more like this in the future maybe we'll do more where we open the actual mail if you guys enjoyed that part and you missed it in this video let me know so we can open them up and see what condition they come in shout out to tcg trusted cards to info show tomato juice noah j stanley mike nance maybe gaggo duelist king cards spanky mcfarland and g raider thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys next time peace